So I had another strange dream. Um, this one includes TV and pop stars. <laughs> so it started with me um, or making a film or a radio play, I'm not sure which. And it, I'm a bit confused about who I was actually playing. I was either playing Alf Garnet from In Sickness and Health. Or I was playing Albert Steptoe from Steptoe and Son. Um, I think it was Afghan because me and my sister used to make these radio plays for the funny radio show. Um, where we continued on in Sickness and Health and it finished on the BBC. And we called it uh, Love, Cherish and Obey. That's the next line on. Uh, Till death to a spot and sickness and half love cherish in a bay. Um, and I used to be Afghan. So I think I was doing that, and I was in this like wooded area in this shed area, where we found this <laughs> load of woods uh, that was that was almost as it's free that we could come and take it. And I was doing it. Oh yes, oh wow! Oh, oh. <laughs> I haven't done it for such a long time. It, when I was doing it, I was thinking this doesn't sound anything like him. So I don't know whether it was. Alf Garnet or Albert Steptoe I was doing, but yeah, I was sort of like, oh, all this woody, I can take it all. I know it doesn't sound like him, like him, but that's how I used to take him off like that. <laughs> and I was like, praising all this wood I could take and what we could do with it, build with it, build something with a house or something. But then the other person who I was talking to, that person didn't look like from any, from in sickness and health. It looked like, that's why I think it was Steptoe, it looked like um, Steptoe's son, whose name I've forgotten now. So I don't know why it was a bit of a mix. Um, then the dream changed and uh, I was Paul McCartney, an older Paul McCartney. Uh, well, well, at first I was actually filming a documentary in this school, or it looked like a school. Um, and I was filming a documentary and it turns out I was Paul McCartney later, but I was videoing this and this girl said, oh yeah, we got some, something of the Beatles um, in, in this room. They took this into this room and we never saw what it was, whether it was tapes or, or a bit of script or whatever. But then I became Paul McCartney or I realised I was Paul McCartney because there was this, these jackets on the on the wall, like a, like a leather jacket, but it was, it was, uh, it wasn't like black, it was light yellowish colour, not yellow, but I don't know what that colour is, yellowy brown colour, and Paul puts his hand on it, and he said, oh, this is John's, um, and he gets like really teary about it, and then the girl doesn't realise she's talking to Paul McCartney. Um, but when she he says that, he realises, oh my God, this is Paul McCartney. I don't know how she doesn't recognise him. but And it's, this is John's jacket. We left it here when we were doing a concert all these years. <laughs> Sounds like George, I think, in the Yellow Submarine. And then there's a few other jackets, two other jackets. Um, I don't know why there's not four jackets. And the, he sort of suggests that it was because they had to leave there um, quickly, almost as if, like it was the end of something he's talking he, he's reminiscing about this was like the last time and then they split up and then this got left behind it was something like that and he was sad about it and just reminiscing about john and yeah then i woke up weird <laughs>